to me, to you, to me, to you, to me, to you, to me, to you. He's not working. I know. I'll give him the kiss of life. Get off! Barry, you're back. What's wrong with me back? Nothing. You're back from the dead. No, I'm not. I'm Barry from Rotherham. No, you don't understand. I've just saved your life. Well, can you save me another one for when I finish with this one? Hey, I might get an award. I don't think so, seeing as it was your fault we hit the rocks in the first place. Well, I didn't know there was any rocks there. They should have had a lighthouse on it. Besides, the boat wasn't strong enough. I wonder what Dan's going to say when he knows you've sunk his best yacht. He knows already. I radioed him before we went down. Really? What did he say? Nothing. It was an answer machine. Yeah, it said, I'm sorry, there's no one here to rescue you at the moment, but if you'd like to leave your SOS and your position after the tone, we'll get back to you. Did you give him my position? Of course I did. I was sitting down, you were laying on the deck screaming. Yeah, there'll be somebody along to save us in a while. Good. I wonder where we are. I can help you with that. I brought along a map just in case of emergencies. Let's see where we are. Now, let me see. We were sailing along to the port, slightly starboard of the sea anchor. Now, if you add two longitudes, divide by a latitude and a half, then take away two compass points, that makes us... Three sheets to the wind. No. Birmingham. Birmingham? It's a bit quiet for Birmingham. Well, give or take an inch or two. Might be more like Solihull. Phew, that's all right, then. We'll just sit here and wait. We can't do that. Help might be some way away. We've got to prepare ourselves for the worst. What do you mean? No kidding, Minster. No, survival, Barry. You've got to learn how to survive when you're shipwrecked near Birmingham. What we need is a shelter. What, a bus shelter? No, a shelter shelter. Something to protect us from the elements. Elements? Aren't those the big grey things with big ears and trunks? No. Look, seeing as there's no shelters to hide in, we'll have to build one ourselves. What with? I don't know. You'll have to find something. What are you going to do? I'll light a fire. That way we can dry our clothes. How? We've got no matches. You leave that to me. You just go and find something to build with. Now then, how to light a fire without matches? See if I can remember. Rub two Boy Scouts together. That's it. Now, where did I put them? Hey, Barry, don't forget the savages. There's always savages on desert islands. That's just what we need. That was quick. I'd have been even quicker if I hadn't had a look for the sandwiches. Hey, can you smell goats? Sandwiches? Savages, not sandwiches. Where would you find a sandwich on a desert island? I give up. Hey, but I found out where we are. This was stuck in the sand. Hey, private island. I was right. That's by Spaghetti Junction. Did you find anything to build with? Well, I found this grass hut. And you pulled it down and brought it here? Yeah. Silly you. You should have given me a call. I could have come and helped you. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise. But there's plenty more. You can come and give me a hand with that if you like. Uh, no, on second thoughts, you better do it yourself. You know where it is. I'll start putting this together. Right.
attention. You know, I still think we should have put that hammock higher up the trees. Stop moaning. We've done a good job there. That'll keep the savages out. And the elephants. I'm not too sure about that coffee table, though. There, that's better. Paul? What? We've forgotten something. Yes, I know, but it isn't big enough for a satellite dish up, is it? No, we haven't got a door. Silly you. Silly me. Now we can't get in. Neither can the savages. Or the elephants. And it doesn't matter if we lose our key when we go shopping. All this talk of elephants and savages is starting to worry me. Don't be silly. I'm here with you. I'll look after you. That's another thing that's worrying me. It's only got three walls. Yes. That's less decorating, isn't it? Look, will you stop worrying yourself? You're as safe as this little house we've built. Do you know, I'm rather hungry after all that work. Let's go and find something to eat. <laughs> there must be some food somewhere. Hey, Barry, look out for snakes and crocodiles. I'd prefer an orange myself, Paul. And the savages. Don't forget the savages. I won't. I won't. Nothing. Not a plum. Not a berry berry. Not even a savage. Let's face it, we're all alone, except for the two of us. If we're all alone except for the two of us, who put the sign up and who built the hut? Local government. Signs and huts department. Oh. Hey, just a minute. Footprints. Two people have walked this way. When? Recently. One told them the other. Both with spiky hair and moustaches. One with a big nose and a birthday in the middle of December. That's brilliant. How do you know all that? In our footprints. We've been walking round in circles. I've been walking round in trainers. We're going to have to see where we are. Yeah, but how are we going to do that? One of us is going to have to shin up that tree. I can't do it. I've got a bone in my leg. Heights make me dizzy. We'll make it easy for you. We'll bend the tree over, save you climbing it. OK. Right. To me. To you. To me. To you, then. To me, then. To you, Paul. Uh, to me, a bit. To you, then. A bit more to me. To you. To me. To you. To me, then. To you, Paul. To me, Paul. To you. To me. To you, Paul. To me. To you, Paul. To me. Right, Benny. You get to the top of the tree. OK. What can you see? The top of your head. That's odd. Whoa! Whoa! Are you all right? I'm fine. Something broke me fall. What? The ground. Hey, you found another hut. The council of signs and huts department have been busy. This will come in handy. Come on, Barry. Let's get back. I've had an idea. Pass me a bottle. This is no time to be playing party games. I'm not. I'm going to write a message and put it in the bottle. Dear finder of the bottle, we are lost and wouldn't mind getting fined. If you have time, come and rescue us. Signed, Paul and Barry. Got it! And leave it out for the milkman. Yes. No. You throw it in the sea. Then whoever finds the bottle will come and rescue us. Throw it in the sea. Right. <laughs> That's it. Just a minute. You forgot to tell them where we are. Of course I did. Pass me another bottle. P.S. We are on private island near Birmingham. Hey, you are. Throw that one in. <whistles> P.P.S. If you have any spare grub, fetch that. Get me another bottle. There you are. That's a good idea. <laughs> that was quick. Sorry, haven't got time to rescue you at the moment, but thought you might like this. What is it? It's a menu from the Chinese chippy. Oh, good. I'll have chicken fried rice. Chicken fried rice and egg fung yu. Bottle. There you are. Throw it in.
Sorry, half day closing. That's the trouble with Chinese food. You don't get one, then half an hour later, you feel like not getting another one. Suppose we'll have to do it ourselves. This is no time to be putting up shelves. I'm not talking about building shelves. I'm talking about getting off this island. Hang on. What have you done with the hut? Nothing. I'm beginning to get a strange feeling. That's probably sand in your shoes. No, I mean about this place. I'm beginning to feel we're not alone together after all. You could be right. I think we should make ourselves scarce. Before somebody makes us scarcer. What we need is a boat. And I think I know exactly where we can get one. Where? There. Remember my boat building experience? I've spent six years trying to forget. All we've got to do is get enough of these, tie them all together, and we've got a raft. It'll never work. That's the trouble with you. You always look on the black side. Leave this to me. You go down the beach and get that other hut we found earlier today. Then you bring it back here, because we'll need somewhere to sleep tonight. Right. Time for 40 winks. <laughs> well, what do you think? Very good. Just one thing. What's that? You forgot to put my hammock up. Silly you. Silly me. <laughs> Hang on. Who said it's yours? You just did. Did I? You did. And I must say, it's very generous of you. Now. Fill that hole in, because we don't want to be having any accidents. Then come in and help me finish this off, OK? Right. It's very nice. It is very nice. A roof, walls, hammock, even a coffee table. Paul? What? Do coffee tables have legs? Some of them do. Oh, that's all right, then. Why? It's just that ours has walked away. Oh. Hey, that's our coffee table. Must have frightened him off. Come on, let's get back. Ooh, this is heavier than I thought. Fancy that. Somebody trying to steal our coffee table. While we're on the subject, who was it? Beats me. Perhaps it was a hermit crab looking for a bigger home. Or a homeless tortoise? Nah. What would a tortoise want with our house? Ha! Oh. Ah, a savage! A savage what? Don't know! Don't care! Run! <laughs> that you're the first people I've seen since I was shipwrecked on this island over five years ago, with no means of getting off and no hope of rescue. You mean nobody's been here for five years? <laughs> not, not a soul. Ever since my boat sank and I was thrown into the water, this is a private island. And nobody's allowed to land. I just want my boat back. <laughs> boat? What boat? I thought you said it sank. <clears throat> Not that one. This one. Hey, Barry, look at that. My coffee table's a boat. It's not your coffee table. It's my boat. Five years I've spent building it out of driftwood. And you come along and ruin everything. Does this mean we'll be able to go home? It looks like it. 
Of course, I knew this was a boat all the time. Did you? <laughs> yes. Only a fool would think it was a coffee table. Yours, I believe. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, well, uh, of course, uh, it'll never float. Look, there's a hole in here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just a minute. Look at that. Perfect fit. <laughs> Good job I was here. Me being a boat builder and all, we'll soon have this seaworthy. Then we'll be able to take you home. Where do you live, by the way? 26 Bodmin Road. Not 26 Bodmin Road, Rotherham. That's it! My uncle's house. Hey, Barry, there's a coincidence. He lives at the same address as, uh, uh, what's your name? Crusoe. Robinson? No, Geoffrey. Geoffrey here uh, lives at the same address as that man I built that boat for six years ago. So it was you! Um, well, when I said I, I meant we. You're the ones who are responsible for my being stuck here for the last five years. That boat fell apart. Yes, well, it would do if you to rock. Wasn't designed for that sort of thing. Anyway, we're not responsible. In fact, people have said we're the least responsible people they know. Obviously. And I didn't hit a rock. I sneezed. Never mind. Never mind. All's well that ends well. And we'll be able to take you home now. Take me home? I'd rather swim than share a boat with you two. You take the boat. I'll take my chances here. Typical. You just can't do enough for some people, can you? Ah! There's one thing he doesn't know, Paul. What's that? We might not be very good at boat building, but we're even worse at building houses. Ah! Is it to Wolverhampton? Oh. Ah. Ah. 